guys that are sitting up here. Um, you know, we and Coach talked a lot. This team started off one and four in conference, and the fight that they gave us, the commitment. I mean, I think Coach did a phenomenal job with that. You think back at college athletics, and you think about across the country when teams usually start that way. It's hard to get the younger guys to keep their focus and keep their mindset. And the job that he did, and the, and the way this team pulled together. I think it's an unbelievable attribute to them. Uh, they're a very tough team, a very focused team, and we're very proud of them. Okay, we'll open it up now for questions for the student athletes. And uh, raise your hand. Brandon, we'll start. No, oh, sorry, come on. Jamal Jones, Garage Department, media. Nick, uh, very big night today. 28 points, you really stepped up for the team. Uh, if you mind, if you don't mind, just give us a just how you felt out there, how you felt the ball was going in, and when you you felt like you were you were due in for a big game today. Yeah, I wanted to give a good performance. Um, didn't didn't um, amount to the win, but I went out there, gave it my all with my teammates. Yeah, just tried to give it my all tonight. Brandon. A uh, question for all three of you guys. Uh, just talk about the composure uh, of the team. You guys were down 14 in the se in the first half, brought it back uh, to within two and a half. We're down nine at one point and then took the lead late. Um, the composure of this team is um, is real. We've been through a lot of adversity. Uh, we've seen every situation in the game you could think of. Uh, we we know it's a long game and there's many possessions, so we just. Take it one possession at a time. Okay, next. Um, yeah, like Nick said, we've been in this situation many times. We had a lot of close games this year, so we have guys that are experienced and, and know what to do in the moment. Uh, so anytime we get down, we always make make it a point to keep our heads up and because this, this is a game of runs, so each team is going to make their run and we're able to do that and get back in, but we just weren't, weren't able to close it up. Thank you. Yeah, we just pick each other up, basically, like, we don't let each other get down. If we see one person get down, we get on them. Like, make sure we keep the same composure we have. Up here. I see Morel for off the news. Um, I guess I'll direct this to Damien since she took the three. Um, yeah. What were you guys uh, looking for on the final play? Uh, I know you took the shot and uh, hit on it, but uh, what, what were you guys trying to drop? Uh, was it? Did it go executed uh, like uh, we wanted, other than the shot? Um, we wanted to drive, but he was so far back. So, but that was a good play with BJ. BJ, that was a good play from him to give me the ball, but just didn't go in. Okay, next. Josh, uh, very hard hat double double tonight. Uh, not quite the performance you had yesterday, was there anything that they were doing differently or anything that kind of confused you in, in not really get going off like you did yesterday? Um, no, not really. New Orleans is a team that kind of packs the paint. Um, they seen the game yesterday, so I was probably hot in the scouting report that was going to make an effort to not let me get the ball, pack the paint, and make us take outside shots. Um, that's really it, but I still went out there and gave it my all. Nick, with this being your senior year, uh, your last game, is this, what memories and what can you culminate all that you've accomplished with your four years that you were at the school? Well, it's been a blessing. Um, my freshman year, we were 3-15 and 15 in conference. We didn't even make the tournament. Uh, sophomore year, we made it out the first round. Last year we lost in the first round, and this year we lost second round. So it's just been a blessing to try to build a culture that Lamar gets to the tournament, and hopefully we can turn around and take off and win us a championship one of these few years. Uh, Matt Faye, Bowman Enterprise. Uh, for, for Nick, uh, it, it seemed like in both this game and last game, um, both teams kind of made a concerted effort to run you guys off the three-point line, you know, maybe push you guys out a little bit farther. Do you guys sense that, and what do you maybe do to try to combat that? Yeah, we, they they know in the scout to run us off the three-point line because we're a very
very hot shooting team. Um, but we just have to execute our offense and not and catch the ball in the scoring areas and not let them push us off the uh, three-point line. So we just made a, a point to get in the scoring areas. Okay. Do you have one down yes, here? Do. Okay, this will be the last question for the players. Okay. Uh, I'll direct this to Josh. I see Morel again. Uh, what motivation did you guys draw from the win yesterday against Houston Baptist? Um, it gave us a lot of motivation because, of course, we knew we were one step closer to our goal, which is winning the championship. Um, it gave us some confidence because we won a game on that floor. It being a neutral site, you know, it just gave us some momentum. We got used to the rims, and um, we were able to get a good feel for that court. But, uh, you know, we just came up short today. Guys, I don't think it's going to be your last game, so congratulations on a good season. You can take your name cards with you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll open up for questions for Bobby. Take it, Bobby. Heather Healy, KDPM Channel 6 and Fox 4. Coach, in your eyes, uh, not as a head coach, but as a coach overall, talk on the progress that you saw throughout the year and how might get you excited for this upcoming season for this program? Yeah, I think it starts from uh, five years ago. I mean, we developed a program that was basically at the, at the bottom. and. You know, in the first two years, we put great work in, and Nick and, and Josh had so much to do with that. I mean, they, they helped build our program. They were the cornerstones for us. We've added some great pieces with it. And to win 19 in year three, 19 last year, 20 this year, um, you know, we're losing two really good players, there's no doubt. But we're excited about the guys that are returning, and they got a taste of it, you know. Nick and Josh didn't get a taste of it when they first came here. They helped us. And, and last year's seniors helped us too. I don't want to take anything away from there. But they came through as freshmen um, and helped build this program for us. And, you know, our, our younger guys got to get a good taste of it this on this trip. And hopefully uh, we can continue to keep going forward. Okay, Brandon. You guys shot uh, 56% in the first half, uh, went down to 35 in the second half. Was it a case of where uh, you guys were, uh, you felt that the team was forcing shots, or was it a combination of uh, forcing shots in New Orleans defense? Um, you know, with Jordan Hunter getting hurt, we had to change some things up with our offensive thoughts. Um, Davion had to play a lot more minutes. We had BJ back at the point. Both those guys are capable of that. You know, I don't want to make an excuse for it, but. Yeah, our offense did change a little bit. Uh, you know, we can go with our small three-guard lineup. Uh, it's, it's very hard to help off of that. But to BJ's credit, he did an excellent job of getting to the basket. Uh, Josh posted up hard. You know, we had a couple baskets that we didn't finish around, or shots in the paint that we didn't finish like we usually do. I don't know if it was a little fatigue from yesterday. It was a physical game yesterday. It was a physical game today. But, I, I mean, I thought our guys' effort was incredible. You know, we got some good shots. We just happened to miss them. We missed a couple free throws that, you know, we've been making our free throws of late. Um, I thought it was a great college basketball game. We were one shot short. Coach, you just, I'm sorry, Dari Jones, uh, Garage Department Media. You had just made, you just made mention of uh, the fatigue factor. I was going to say uh, falling behind, uh, fighting back into it, and then uh, coming out a little flat in the second half. How much would you contribute that to uh, possibly being fatigued from playing last night. Well, I think we came out. We came out a run, and they they answered with a run. Uh, but this team is tough. I mean, we got a tough group of guys. They they weren't going to quit. Um, like I said, I want to refer back to it. But we started one and four, and there's no quit in this group. There's no quit in that locker room. There's no quit in this team. They're going to fight you to the end. Uh, maybe they were a little tired. Uh, they're not going to tell us that. I know they gave us everything they had, though. I mean, I know Josh gave us everything he had. I know all of them. Nick gave us everything they had. I mean, basically had to help drag them off the floor. So maybe they were a little tired, but the, their, their quit did, did not show. Uh, Matt Fable on Enterprise. Uh, kind of a little bit following up on that. Um, you know, they, they jump out to the 14-point lead, and then you guys, uh, you know, make it, oh, I don't know what the run was, but make a, a, a solid run to, to come back on that one. What was maybe, what do you uh, attribute that slow start to, and you know what maybe flipped the switch to you guys during that run? I think we missed a couple shots that we normally make. They made some shots. I mean, it's a, it's a college basketball game. It's it's a game of runs. Uh, this time of year, you you got to finish at the basket. You got to finish at the free throw line. Um, we like I said, when they went on that run, I think some of it had to do we gave them some second shots. Um, 
that hurts a little bit. We had not been being had not been out rebounding. I can't tell you the last time, um, but they were out rebounding us, and that's something you know was addressed at halftime. That their second chance points were hurting us. Uh, some of their points off of turnovers hurt us. And when we made that run to get back to the two point game at halftime, uh, you know we were about even in everything again. Uh, and that was a focus in the second half to limit them to one shot. We ended up out rebounding them for the game. Okay, this will be our last question from Bobby. Uh, Coach, uh, with y'all losing these two seniors, what do you think the experience of this tournament and the tough season y'all had to overcome and be at a 21 game, how do you think that experience is really going to uh, bring positive for the next year? Well, as you saw, most of our team, uh, Coach plays a lot of guys, and there's a lot of guys that got minutes. Everybody played in this tournament. Everybody got a taste of this tournament. So we're losing two, and we're losing, like we said, we're losing two big big players to our program, but they've got to step up, and it always happens. I mean, we said last year, well, who's going to replace Joey Frenchwood? Who's going to play, replace James Harrison? Who's going to replace Colton? Um, that's college basketball. It's not the pros. you you got to recruit guys, and, you know, you guys grow up in your program, and they build the toughness, and, and coaches, he's strict with it. You're going to do it one way, and it's about the team, and we're strong together, and these guys are going to bounce back and we're going to be ready to go next year. Bobby, thank you. Jake, thank you. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me show you something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.